Hi, what's up guys? This is Richard again for this edition of Learning with Rich. So for uh, today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to add columns and beam tags in Revit Structure uh, 2017. So uh, it's like a continuation. On my last exercise, I have shown you how to uh, add dimensions and spot symbols. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to add column and beam tags. All right. Okay, so let's get started. So what I'm going to do first is, you see, I have four columns here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add uh, tags here. So to add tags from my quick access toolbar, so this is what you call the quick access toolbar, there is this uh, tag by category tool that you can use here. Actually, the location of this, you can also find it here on your annotate tab, tag by category. So it's the same. Okay, so I can select uh, tag by category here. I select this. Okay, and then from my options bar here, if you click this drop down arrow, you can see you have two options for the placement of your tag it can be horizontal and vertical so i'm just going to select here horizontal and you can also add here a leader line so currently it's unchecked so i'm going to check it and let's say i'll just accept this uh length of my leader line now to place the the tag to my column so i'm just going to put it here i'm going to move my cursor somewhere on uh, the bottom of this column so i'm gonna pick as you can see there's the tag all right okay so there's the column tag so same with this one so i'm gonna pick this and i'm going to pick this all right then after that i select your modify okay modify and then i'm gonna i'm gonna select this you can actually move that okay you can drag your column tag just like this one okay so let me just make it a bit uh, tidy all right okay so what i'm going to do next i'm going to add here a text note so again from my quick access toolbar i select here the text tool okay and then i'm gonna make sure that no leader is selected here and i'm gonna select here align to center okay and then i'm going to pick here so let me check the size okay so i use 2.5 so i'm gonna place it here okay then i'm gonna type here uh 100 mm uh, slab oops slab on uh, grade all right and then i'm just going to pick outside to finish up my dimension oh i mean the text note so i select modify here then after that i'm going to select this and then i'm going to drag something like this all right you can make it like this you can also select your text note and then you can use the arrow on your keyboard to move it up and down left and right all right and aside from that uh after you select the text you can add here a leader so let's say i'm gonna add here an arc leader so i'm gonna select this to the left side and to the right here and you can also change here the justification of your leader so let's say i'm gonna place it at the middle left the other one is middle right okay you see uh, i can move like this i can drag the leader something like that okay so after i place my column tags and my text note so i'm gonna change my view here so let's say i'm gonna open the second floor and then this time i'm going to add beam tags all right so again i'm gonna select my tag by category tool or i can also type tg okay this time i'm not going to add here a leader line okay and then i'm going to change the loaded tags in my model so let's say i'm gonna look for the framing all right so this is the structural framing so currently this is the loaded one so i'm gonna click this 
and then I'm going to look for the other type okay the other family so let's say I'm gonna use a structural framing tag with studs camber standard so I select this all right and then I select here okay and then I'm going to pick now the framing okay just like that and then I select here modify okay and then take take note if you are going to modify your frame let's say I'm going to select these four frames okay you can see that if I change the property here you will notice the tag here will update okay so take a look so let's say I'm going to add here a uh, camber size on the instance properties so let's say I'm gonna put here uh, C C equals uh, 25 mm okay and then for the number of stats so let's say I'm gonna type here 22 okay you see if I select your add so you will notice it will update the tags okay so right yeah so next so what I'm going to do is I'm going to modify the uh, beam annotation Okay, so to do that, again, from the annotate tab, tag panel, you will see here beam annotations. So I'm going to select the beam annotations here. If It will open up the beam annotations dialog box. Okay, and then what I'm going to do next is, okay, so for the placement, okay, just make sure that all beams in current plan view to display the tags for all beams in the view. And then after that, I'm going to select here, remove existing beam tags and spot elevations. Okay, I'm going to modify that now. So here, you see there's a middle here on the level beams in plan. Okay, so I'm going to modify this one. So I'm going to select here a structural framing tag. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to... I'm just going to select this okay so structural framing tag standard and then I select here okay right so that's the setting and then I'm going to change also the lower mid okay so I'm gonna select this this time I want to place there the spot elevation okay I'm gonna ensure that plan is selected uh, current level and then for the display elevation I'm going to select here top elevation all right and then I select OK there you go so I'm going to select OK here to close the beam annotations dialog box click there you go you see so all beams in the view now displays tags so notice that the standard beam tags display above the beam and the elevations of the beams relative to the level are displayed below the beam right okay so I'm going to type WT for tile window and ZA for zoom all to fit okay so that's the that's how you add column and beam tags to your structural model okay so that's it for this edition of learning with rich so hopefully you learn something from this video if you have any comments suggestions or questions you can post it on the video this comment section below and then i'll get back to you as soon as i can okay you can also download the exercise file i'm going to include this link to the video description of this uh exercise video all right and you can also subscribe to my channel just hit the subscribe button and you can also go to my uh to my uh blog site it's also included to the video description of this exercise All right so once again this is uh, richard from learning with rich have a good day